welcome back to Williams Stadium. In honor of military appreciation, we are going to be having a special show today that we will be joining right now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Liberty University for today's veteran celebration, during which we want to honor all those who have served on our behalf around the world to protect the freedoms we enjoy as Americans. During his 19th reconnaissance mission deep in hostile territory in Vietnam, Lieutenant Cleve McClary was critically wounded during an enemy attack. Despite his injuries, he continued to lead his men as they battled the enemy hand to hand before successfully withdrawing his unit from the area. His devastating injuries included the loss of his left arm and left eye and a prognosis he would never walk again. He received three Purple Hearts and was presented the Silver Star and the Bronze Star for bravery by the President of the United States. After two years in military hospitals, 30 major surgeries and countless hours of physical therapy, he walked out to begin a new life as an inspirational speaker. He has impacted hundreds of thousands of people in all 50 states and 30 countries. Liberty's fourth recipient of the George Rogers Champion of Freedom Award, Cleve McClary of the United States Marines. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, Liberty University would like to recognize and thank all veterans and current members of the armed services who have served on our behalf throughout the world. When your anthem plays, we would like you to stand so we can thank you for your service. Army. a little bit right there of Cleve McClary receiving the George Rogers Champion of Freedom Award. And it's when you see and hear a story like that, it really does bring emotions to you, even if you don't have a military background. But I know listening to that and just listening to the music in the background, shows like this always get to me. And I know that you yeah. guys have your own personal experience. Yeah, I'm from Hampton Roads. And as you know, this is the largest naval base in the world. And I have a lot of family members who have served. Uh, my fa my father-in-law, Richard Post, uh, served for 21 years as a Vietnam War veteran, one of my heroes. Um, my brother-in-law served in the Navy uh, for 13 years. Um, have a lot of family members. And I, I live up in Washington, D.C. and work on Capitol Hill. And we have the military protecting us. And I'm very appreciative for everyone who who has served and who is serving now. You know, for me, it just brings back memories as far as the people that have played here at Liberty and, and worked here at Liberty. One being Mike Morris, our equipment manager who fought in Vietnam. Brady Hassel, who played for us in 2007, 2008, who served in Afghanistan. Uh, uh, Andrew, Tim Luck, who yep. has served now over in the Middle East. So it's, you know, what these guys do in the service that they give to their country, uh, it, it's it's an amazing thing what it they really do is. because they don't expect anything in return. Yeah, and there's nothing that unifies us all like um, honoring the armed services. And even today as we play VMI, you know, I'm appreciative for the cadets and all they have done um, to prepare uh, the, the, the leaders and the heroes of the future. And I mean, these guys don't just play football, but they continue the tradition of what all the students do, living in the barracks and um, having sweat parties and things like that. So I got a lot of respect for these VMI football players. And you can see here the pride that they have. Uh, they don't give up, they play tough. And uh, they're playing Liberty very tough today. Well, I know that there's not enough that we can say to show our appreciation, but for now we'll send you back to the show. Marines!
now we ask that all our military members and their families please stand together and allow us to express our appreciation to you at this time. If a member of your family is currently on active duty, we ask that you stand also. It's an amazing thought to me that these men and women who don't even know me, don't even know you, two of them, students at Liberty now, would die in combat for us. That's an amazing thing. And that's why I respect everyone in uniform. I thank God for the millions of men and women who have fought and bled and died to guarantee that we can meet here this morning and worship as we do. It isn't the media, it isn't the Congress, it isn't the courts, it isn't 600,000 pastors in America who've given freedom and liberty to the 280 million Americans today. It has always been the soldier. At this time, we would ask for everyone to rise and remove your caps as we observe a moment of silence in honor of all servicemen and women who have paid the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. Tomorrow, the things 
days were gone. I've worked for all my life, and I had to start again with just my children and my wife. I thank my God above to be living here today, because that flag still stands for freedom. You can't take that away. And I'm proud to be an American, where at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the men who died and gave that right to me. So I'll gladly stand up next to you and defend her still today. Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the USA. Yes. From the lakes of Minnesota to the hills of Tennessee, across the plains of Texas, from sea to shining sea. From Detroit down to Houston, from New York to L.A. Well, there's pride in every American heart, and it's time we stand and say that I'm proud to be an American, where at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the men who died and gave to me, so I'll gladly stand up next to you and defend her still today, cause there ain't no doubt I love this land, and God bless the USA, and I'm proud to be an American, well at least I know I'm free, and I won't forget the men who died and gave that right to me. So I gladly stand up next to you and defend her still today. Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the USA. Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land. God this special halftime presentation honoring the U.S. and military. Stay tuned. We'll be back after the break with first half highlights and stats.